Today, in a flash flood, yes, a flash flood, we are doing Popeyes spice packed wings. Haven't even opened the box yet. Let's have a look. Got the world famous biscuit. Got some fries. Got the wings. And they gave us the spicy pepper ranch sauce to go with it. One packet. I guess they didn't want us to overdo it. Are you ready to break into this? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg East Q. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121. And you may ask yourself, or you may not, what's the deal with the spice packed wings? The last time you were here, dude, you said you're going to do the chicken burger from Burger King first. You did say that. I did say that. But here's the thing. I can't control Burger King. So here is a true story. I drove to Burger King earlier today. I said to Burger King, hello, Burger King. I would like the new chicken burger. And I quote, the response back through the speaker was, duh. Ten seconds of silence, then screaming in the background, and then about 15 seconds later, I don't think we have that yet. So does that mean we can't get one? If you don't think you have it, can you look a little harder? Can you ask someone? I don't think we have that. We'll, we'll have it soon. So now we're doing the spice packed wings. If it was me, I would have just made you a chicken sandwich. Once again, Burger King for the win. But it's not a chicken sandwich. It's a chicken burger. Yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to shoot for that again on Friday. But in the meantime, spice packed. Because I'm not going to lie to you guys. We were waiting on the uh, chicken burger. I don't know. Didn't read up. Didn't do any preparation. There's not a lot of videos out on this. It just came out on the 26th. As we film this, it's the 27th. So I'm going to sit back and close my eyes and prepare for Popeyes to wow me. All right, here we go. Right. Got a little heat. Mine does. Mine's got more heat all of a sudden. Whoa. Heat. I'm not getting anything really. All right, let's go again. What we're going to do is we're going to let him uh, go into a second piece here. See what we can figure out. Go ahead, buddy. We're going to try it with the spicy pepper ranch, which is really tricky with a bone in wing. It's really tricky. All right, here we go. The spicy pepper ranch does work good as a french fry sauce. I thought hurricane season was over. Before we get started, listen into your earbuds and listen to God unleashing his wrath upon us yet again. Thanks, God. <laughs> so, Q, what do you give the spice packed wings from Popeyes? Give them a B minus. What did you like about them? Uh, they had the right amount of breading. I got one that was like proportionate. It had like the right amount of chicken, the right amount of breading. It tasted it tasted pretty well, but I thought I'd get more spice out of it. I didn't, so I think a B minus is suitable. Okay, so we're back after a quick hiatus. Uh, the storm got so bad that you could not hear us at all. Yeah. Now, if you listen, all you can hear is wind. Uh, apparently, we're in the middle of a flood. Flash and flood. To a flash exact. flood and a storm. I'm sure if you watch your news, you'll see us getting floated away. But before we float away, I'm going to give you the grade on this chicken. I give it a B- minus as well. Um, it just was not very good. I guess you could see where maybe it was like hand-seasoned as opposed to done... Uh, on a line by a machine because it was all over the place. One bite would have a lot of season, the next bite wouldn't have any flavor at all. I think that was by design, but I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, just all in all, this is probably the most disappointed I've been with Popeyes in a while. I believe the last product we did, we'll put right here, we both gave an A+. Plus. So it's not like we're Popeyes hating, we're just not enjoying this product. 
And plus, when you add to that, for whatever reason, there is a real dearth, there's a word for you, a real dearth of information on this product. Like if you go to the website, they don't even tell you what's in it. It's got seven spices from six countries. You can't find the spices. That's weird. I'm going to put a link in the description below to Ian Kiner's video. Ian K. at Peep This Out will tell you those ingredients. He went in and talked to a manager at Popeye's to get them. Wow. So if you really want to know that bad, click on his video, show him some love, tell him Greg and Q sent you. He's entertaining. He is. He is an entertaining man. He will entertain you. And because he's in California, he won't be facing floods, high winds, or wrath of God in his video. That's right. There you go. So uh, we got that going for us. Two B minuses. Two B minuses. Double B minuses. Now that we have that unpleasantness out of the way, a uh, couple quick things. Want to uh, do a little house cleaning, if you will. People are still asking. Yes, our video views are still jacked. They're putting the views on from like 50 days ago. Finally, you can go back and see our Oreo churro video is now over 4,000 views. How long ago did you send that email to them? I've sent several. That's just not. Uh -oh. That's. I don't even know that that email goes anywhere. I just think eventually the stuff shows up. But we're we're like 45 days behind. So please give us a like, give us a comment, let us know you're here. This stuff will show up eventually. Uh, like for the first two, three hours, the video's in motion. The views are real time and then they stop at like five or 600 views and they don't move for days. I wonder what causes that. Some like system problem or? You know, as someone that does troubleshooting, um, I'll give you my answer. I would give someone that called and asked oh, me. Oh yeah? My answer to that would be, well, there's many factors at work here, and anything I would say would be a guess, and I'd really hate to, to guess at something as important as this. Well, that's pretty smooth. That's another way of saying I have no clue. Oh. But when you're doing work for like um, any kind of professional work, you can't say you don't know. So you got to dress it you've up. You've got to dress it up. Yeah. You, you, you've got to say that you don't want to guess or you, know, you don't yeah. want to hazard a guess. When Just say you don't know. It's just so much simpler. Uh, a couple other things real quick. Uh, somebody gave us money. Thank you. Well, yeah, thanks. Uh, you know, we we go to great lengths to always say, please don't give us money. But hey, what the hell? We appreciate it. The only thing I wish you would have maybe left a note with it. Um, there is on our page a link that you can press and donate money to the channel. Everyone else always says, please donate money. And they always ask. We always say, don't. Um, but we will take that $10 and buy food with it. And, you know, the channel isn't free, so someone gave us money and we're going to put it to use. The next video, whatever whatever we review, is paid for by the mystery donor. If, if you ever feel compelled to give us money, which we're not asking, please drop a note. Let us know who did it. We'll do something for you. Um, yeah. We don't give shout-outs for money like some people. If you follow us on Instagram and want to follow back... Drop us a line. We'll follow you back. Anybody that follows us on Snapchat, we follow you back. It's all free. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, we'll talk to you. In fact, we're going to give out some Facebook shout-outs here in a minute. It's all free. So if you do give us money, which we're not asking for, please at least let us give us a note so we can properly thank you. Whoever you are, I guess uh, us acknowledging this maybe is thanks enough, but thank you very much. Yeah. We appreciate it. You doing anything for New Year's? No. Nothing. Nothing. I have no plans. Not yet, anyway. I don't... I don't have any plans for New Year's Eve, either. I hate New Year's Eve. You hate New Year's? Why do you hate New Year's? Well, I, New Year's Eve is like the worst of all things. Oh, really? The it's, worst of... It's the most artificially hyped thing ever over nothing. It's changing from one day to another. It's an excuse for amateur alcoholics <laughs> everywhere to suddenly, on this one day decide they're going to drink. And it always results in people going to jail, people getting in fights, people getting in fights and going to jail, people getting in fights in jail, car wrecks. Just nothing good ever comes of New Year's Eve. I'm going to stay home, enjoy me some adult beverages, and probably watch some bowl games. That's what I'm going to do this year. Some bowl games? Bowl games. There's some big doings in college football Oh, this year. Oh, I've bowl <laughs> Like, no bowl. idea. I was yeah, like, bowl know. games. Like, what is going on? Yeah, yeah. Bowl games. Bowl games. That's what I got going. Th there's a Rose Bowl, isn't there? No. Or am I just making? I'm, stuff I'm gonna. The Orange Bowl is no one orange of them. Bowl. The top four teams are playing to see who's gonna get in the championship. That's what I'm doing New oh. Year's Eve. 
Uh, my my New Year's Eve is Super Bowl Sunday. I go all out. I go, go to out. go to the bar, have some pregame, come home, watch the game, have a good time. That's what I consider my New Year's Eve. But for me, every time I've ever tried to do something on New Year's Eve, it always results in just some insanity. Isn't like St. Patty's Day kind of like New Year's Eve with the whole people just going out and getting into trouble? And a lot of those people though are you more hardcore professional drinkers. Which is, you know, I don't have a problem with that. If you're going to do something, do it well. The problem I find with New Year's Eve is people that drink once a year, that's the day they pick. Oh. And they have no control over what they're doing. They puke all over the place. Oh. They're crying. That's disgusting. They're emotional. They want to tell you how much they love you or hate you, punch you or hug you. I don't need any of that. I just, I'm just trying to have a beer, man. So, Yeah. I don't like part-time drinkers. Either do or don't, but don't pick that one particular day of the year to do it. That's that's my input there. So that's yeah, there. that's interesting. Plus, New Year's Eve again. Now you're reflecting on a date, and you're looking back at the year, and so kind of can be depressing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, or what am I going to do this year? So yeah, not a fan. What about you guys? You guys doing anything fun for New Year's Eve? Anything at all? Let us know. You know, by the time this video airs, I'll still have a couple days to change my mind. Maybe you can say something that will make one of us want to go do something oh, yeah. on New Year's Eve. Maybe you can motivate us. Maybe you can motivate us to do something besides stay home and watch college football teams that I, I don't even like any of the four teams playing. So please give us an idea that does not involve me in a bar. He can't get in the bar, so you can give him that idea. It ain't going to help. Yeah. All right. We've covered some things. We have. Uh, once again, thank you for the money. We appreciate it. It's awesome. Um, hopefully it'll buy chicken burgers. If not, we've got something we're cooking up for the next video. Before we go, I'm going to do three quick shout outs because our Facebook page is rapidly approaching 200 likes. Oh man, 200. Hoping to be there by 2017. Uh, three people that have contributed recently to the success, the wildly popular success of the Facebook page, as our friend the Food Obs would say. Here we go. God help me. Let's see if I get these names right. Anthony Alvarenga, or as I like to call him, Double A. Josh Dale and Nick Painter Roberts. Thank you for liking the page. We appreciate it. Come back early and often. Just say hi sometime. Anything you want to add? I want to add that you're really good at pronouncing names because I probably would just like verbally slaughtered whatever is written on that paper with like stuttering and like mispronouncing. Well, I am a professional. You are a professional. I do get paid to, not here. This is not <laughs> what I mean by a professional. I do get paid to say people's names and say them properly. So, yeah. and many times I don't have the advantage of reading them. I have to hear them and people mumble. Oh. So you get really imaginative and really kind of, you know. You don't, do you get any complaints from like mispronouncing names? No. Not often? You know, I always assume I'm going to get them, and maybe people are really nice. What I get more often than not is people say, you are the only person I've ever heard pronounce my name correctly. Really? Yes. Now, I don't know if they're telling me the truth, but maybe they're just being nice, but I get that a lot. Uh, the only name that we've really covered recently that I felt I may have butchered was Joshua McCudden. You'll get it two videos in a row, buddy, just in case. Because I just really, I didn't, couldn't get a handle on how that name would be said. That's such an abstract last name. I've never heard of a cousin before. That's a, that's a cool last name. Yeah. It sounded like he said that's a cool last name, but I think oh, he said cool, cool last, last name, name with an yeah. L. Either way, Josh, Ua, you have a cool last name. All right, let's get the hell out of here and get this Santa gone. I'm sick of looking at this freaky bastard. He's gone next video, I promise. Come back tomorrow, sis, on the other channel. We're going to be doing the lean the beverage. The beverage. And uh, we'll tell you how what we thought of Star Wars. We're finally going to see that. So if you have any curiosity left, the movie's made a billion dollars. I'm and, not surprised. And we, we're finally going to see it. It's like eight days old, made a billion dollars, and we're the only people left that haven't seen it. Oh, and you haven't got the big spoil yet. I haven't. I've made it this far. That's impressive. And Ian, has, I told him the day we were going to see it, he's going to see it for the fourth time. Wow, I'm pretty sure you said something about him watching it multiple times before it was even released. Yes, and I, I wasn't wow. kidding, so yeah. <laughs> no, you weren't. He'll have it four times before we see it one. We'll tell you about that on Wednesday as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media that matters. Mr. Happy 0121. 
Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, and of course, Facebook. Stay vigilant.